Okay, I'm back here with another battery video. Currently, my car has been telling me my rated range is 540. Anyway, uh, I've been driving it around and letting it go down to a lower state of charge and just leaving it. And now I'm sitting at 10% and I figured I won't be driving the car for the next week. So I figured, well, why don't I go through a full week test? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it for the next 16 hours and I'm going to go ahead and then check it and then I'm going to charge it from somewhere between 10 and 20 percent and then I will stop the charge we'll let it go to the next morning and I'll just continue that each day and I will update this video on day one day two day three kind of thing and I will be sharing the information that's provided by Scan My Tesla. A lot of people have said that if you bring it down to a lower state of charge and let it sit and then charge it to full, you'll get a, a recalibration. I'm not concerned about degradation. Um, I know there is some, but I'm not concerned about it. I just wanna see if it actually will recalibrate, being that I'm gonna take it from a 10% state all the way up to the 100% state in increments so that it'll learn what each uh, percentage state of charge is. So this is day one. And so what I have here is it's telling me that my nominal full battery pack is 74.6. I have 10.5 kilowatt hours nominal remaining with an energy buffer of 3.36 kilowatts. My state of charge is 10.0% and my usable uh, remaining battery is 7.14 kilowatts and it's telling me the full rated range is 521 kilometers now this number from scan my tesla i don't really rely on that i'm going to rely on information that i get from tesla phi uh, i've been using that all the way along so it once it gets above 50 percent it will start telling me what those percentages are. Right now we're just going to wait till tomorrow and then I'm going to wake up the car because there's no sentry mode, there's nothing running, I'm not going to communicate to the car and then I'm going to go ahead and run the scan my Tesla and capture that data and then I'm going to charge it up by 10 to 20 percent and then we'll just leave it again for another day and we'll just do that for the rest of the time. My question to you, what do you think the actual outcome will be when I charge it to 100%. Is it gonna be the same, 540 kilometers? Will it be more or will it be less? Day two at 9.20 in the morning, we've just completed our charge. So we've charged from 10% up to 21%. And I'll just give you some stats that are coming from scan my Tesla the voltage up to 342 volts the nominal full pack is 74.2 so that's down from the first day the nominal re remaining has gone up of course since we've charged it the energy buffer has remained very close to being the same cell and balance has changed quite a bit at from 26 millivolts uh, at the beginning of our first day and now that we're now at eight millivolts, so the cells are more balanced, at least at this point, according to Scan My Tesla. Rated range currently at 21% is 113 kilometers, and our full rated range is 535. Now, I don't put too much weight on this. So this test here that I just completed was charging it from 10% to 21%. I let it sit for about five minutes. And then I took this information from Scan My Tesla and I'm tracking it in this spreadsheet. So each day we'll just do an update on it. But uh, so far, it's what I expect. I don't anticipate getting any uh, calibration or increase in range. Uh, again, that's EPA range. We're just doing this to see if it does make a difference. Anyway, stay tuned. We'll get into day three tomorrow. Okay, so we're into day three here. It's nine o'clock in the morning. It's been left in sleep for about 22 hours. I then recharged it or started a charge. It was at 21.7%. It's now at 
35.5%. So I've done that piece there. One thing I have noticed is the cell imbalance uh, has gone from 24 millivolts to 8 millivolts yesterday down to 6 millivolts today. So they're really close. And everything else seems to be fine. Again, the rated range as of today is 192 kilometers with the state of charge. Full rated range is 540. Again, that number is coming from Scan My Tesla, and so I'm not too sure if that's true or not. It seems to be moving around quite a bit. So the final rated range will come from Tesla Fi or Tessie or actually just on the car screen. So when we complete this test, we'll take a look at that. So tomorrow, which will be day four, I plan to charge it up to 50% and that will allow me to start getting some data from Tesla Fi and we'll see where that goes. Anyway, uh, stay tuned to the end and we'll see if this actual test makes any difference on the full 100% rated range on my Tesla Model 3. So we're on day four here and uh, we're getting similar results as the previous days. This morning we started our charge at 7 a.m. That allowed the car to sleep for 22 hours. Uh, we completed that charge at 9 a.m. this morning. That put us at 50.9%, so just over 50%. And everything's pretty well on par, as you can see on the graph here. Our voltage is going up. Our nominal pack, uh, what I have noticed is it had started out at 74.6, but it's staying really solid uh, today at 73.4, which kind of tells me we've lost uh, about a kilowatt battery availability. I'm not sure, maybe that'll come back when we charge it to the 100%, but right now that seems to be what's causing the dip in range. I did look at the uh, Teslify website this morning, uh, just before taking this information, and it looks like my range had dropped 540 kilometers down to 534 kilometers. So there's a bit of range loss there, and I believe it's probably more related to that nominal full battery pack rate uh, number. So we'll leave the car sit again till about seven o'clock in the morning. So that'll give us again another 22 hours of sleep time uninterrupted. Okay, so we'll touch base tomorrow. That will be day five of this battery recalibration degradation test that I'm doing here. Okay, so today is day five of my recalibration of my battery test that I'm running. It's just to see if I leave it for 20 hours at a different state of charge, starting at 10%, working all the way back up to the 100%, and see if it will bring back some of the lost EPA range, which I don't think it will, but anyway, so today, not many updates. You can see from the chart below that up to 71% this morning, it did sleep for 22 hours and so nothing really new to explore today. The numbers are pretty identical to yesterday. Uh, so we'll just leave it as it is today. Uh, it'll go back to sleep and tomorrow will be day six and I plan to charge it up to uh, 90% and we'll go from there. So pretty quick short update for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Day six of my recalibration degradation test that I've been running for the past week. Uh, as you can see from the chart uh, below here, I brought the state of charge this morning from 68.9% up to 90.9. .9, and I'm now leaving it plugged in overnight and it will go to sleep. It is 8.30 in the morning. And what I will do is leave it till tomorrow morning and then I'm gonna set it to charge to 100% and I will let that charge complete fully up to the 100%. When it stops charging, I will take the last readings for this test. I'm expecting that the range will remain the same as it was when I started this test, but we'll take a look. Um, what you can see is the cell imbalance is today is only four milliohms. It was kind of floating between six and eight, so it's nice to see a four 
I don't think after driving it'll stay that way, but uh, it's good to get it to as low as possible. And you can see that my rated range right now is 489 kilometers with the full estimated EPA range of 538 kilometers, which is two kilometers shy of the 540 that we started the test at. This will be a short update again today. Uh, not much else has changed. So tomorrow is the big day, day seven, where I will charge the car up to 100%. So we'll see what the final numbers are after completing that 10% to 100% charge uh, over a period of a week. See you tomorrow. Okay, so we finally made it to day seven. It's been a long week charging and waiting for to charge the next day, but we finally made it. We've now charged it to 100%. So just a quick recap, we discharged the battery down to 10%. And then each day I charge it up to a percentage and then would leave it unplugged for a minimum of 20 hours. And then I would repeat that the following day. So I've gone 10%, 21%, 35%, 51%. 71%, 91%, and then full charge up to 100% today. So it's been going for the entire week. Uh, so what are the results? Well, the final outcome for the fully rated range, 541. So I initially started with 540, I now have 541. The one thing that looks lower than and I'm not sure, it might be just a miscalculation, but it is the nominal full pack. Originally it had started out at 74.6 kilowatt hours, and then it's dropped down into the 73s, and today it ended at 73.9 kilowatts, still below the original starting number. Um, today, cell imbalance had gone up, so it definitely isn't balancing at the top. It's at 10 milliohms right now. Um, I did see 12 at some point. You know, I'm not gonna charge it to 100% anymore at all probably. Uh, this was just a test to see if it would do anything. All these tests that I've seen on the internet saying to do the, bring it down, leave it there, then charge it to 100%, uh, you know, it's, uh, I don't believe that it does anything. So I won't be doing that anymore. So uh, this year I did always leave my car plugged in when not in use and I had it set to 90%. For 2023, my plan is to, again, leave it plugged in when not using it. But because I don't drive that much, I'm probably just gonna leave it at 60%. And so if I go and take it for a short drive around town, it's probably not going to go low, go below 40%. So it'll fluctuate between that fixed key most of the time. And then if I plan a you know a longer drive, maybe on the weekend, I might bring it up to like 70 or 80%. But I'm going to try and keep it as close to 50% as possible. I know it's uh, a little bit of effort compared to just leaving it at 90 and going from there. But I'm just going to check it out. Uh, I am seeing that the rated range is dropping. So I did start out with 573 kilometers and now I'm at 541 or 40. So I'm down about 30 kilometers over 19,000 kilometers and just under 12 months. So I know that it is expected to have that range loss. So I'm okay with that, but uh, I'm going to do what I can to minimize that loss going forward. So I'm going to try and keep it as close to 50% as possible. And that should be no challenge for me because I do leave it plugged in at home most of the time and I'm not really driving it. So if I go for an extended drive, I'll just bring it up a bit, but I probably will never charge to 100% again. Uh, I don't see any need of it. Now, if get any recommendations in the future, I may try a test or something, but at this point, I'm just going to leave it fat. So anyway, did I learn anything from this? Well, I learned that uh, at least in my case, it made absolutely no difference doing this. Now, if I did it a couple of times, it might be different, but I wanted to see if you brought the state of charge down low and then just gradually brought it up over like a week, if it made any difference and it didn't. 
So uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I know it was pretty dry, not a lot of information. And, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and then ring that bell so you'll be notified when I make other videos like this. Thanks for watching.